Hola, ¿cómo están todos? Les cuento que estamos en Rock Legacy Website con un gran invitado conversando con un músico pionero, líder de una banda única en su clase. Estamos junto a Oysten Garmesbrun de Borgnagar, quienes desde Noruega se han mantenido innovando en el metal extremo y vanguardista y se van a estar presentando en Chile. Eh, van a estar tocando en vivo dos veces el día 14 y 15 de noviembre en Sala Metrónomo y en el Teatro Caupolicán junto a Lepros, respectivamente. Hello Austin, how are you? I'm perfectly fine. It's it's uh, bad weather here though, but uh, but otherwise perfectly fine. Okay, that's great. And well, how are you preparing the upcoming shows? You know, to be honest, we haven't. We just finished a new album, so I haven't really. We had a deadline, sharp deadline, on Friday. So yeah, a week ago or something. So I haven't been really able to turn around and think too much about the the, the shows. But we, of course, we we are heading into that now, and you know, rehearsing and stuff in in a couple of weeks, I guess, and stuff. So so we are li really looking forward to to this trip to. To South America, it'd be awesome to play with with Leprous guys and in Flames guys and and stuff like that. So we are really looking forward to to the to the trip, really. Great. And so you're uh, I've not been uh, thinking about how it's gonna be the the set list. What's the main focus in in these shows? The the last records or, or a mix? Oh yeah, we had we have some plans. We have some ideas. Um, Uh, you know, we have done so many albums now that it's impossible to co cover everything. I mean, we actually also realized that if, if we play one song from each album, it's almost like two hours. We can't even do that. So, but but we have, you know, we have a, a, a set of really good songs that, you know, we, we have done some touring in the US. We have done some European tours, festivals and quite a lot of live shows lately. So, you know, we, we, we kind of try to make a set list that is we love to play and we also think that the audience would like to hear you know so i think it would be a be a good experience for both us and, and the audience i'm i'm pretty sure yeah and well here in chile you're going to be playing with lepros and yep. what do you think about making this uh, this show with them also from norway it's 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 really cool i mean lepros guys is really good friends of us i mean Bo, uh, Bo the drummer is he played with us back in the day and We, we kind of introduced him to the whole world of metal, so to speak. I mean, I think it was the first real metal band he played in, to be honest. So it's good, good friends of us, great musicians. Um, it will be fun, really fun, I think. Um, and we are, you know, musically we are maybe a little bit different, but we are still, I would say, um, a bit the same because we are both a little bit on the on the side tracks of things you know we do our own stuff lepers do their own stuff and we also do our own stuff so i think it's a really interesting package actually yeah totally and do you think uh, or, or do you feel like like bands uh, coming from norway have elements in common yeah we probably have you know that's it's kind of everlasting discussion you know I've got this question so many times from journalists you know why is there so many bands from Norway yeah. and successful bands and all that stuff and you know maybe it's I, I mentioned the weather it's really bad here now it's storms and stuff like that so um, maybe maybe some of the reason is that you we have to spend a lot of our time inside indoor uh, we have to find something to do inside <laughs> because of the weather quite simply I mean if you live in Chile if you live in southern Europe you probably go out to the beach instead of sitting, you know, yeah. <laughs> inside. So maybe that is part of the, I don't know. But but yeah, we, we you know, I think Norwegians, as everybody else, we have our kind of <laughs> uh, cultural roots. We have our kind of mentality maybe a little bit into into this. And um, so, yeah, but but still, I mean, Lepros and us is, is very different bands, but I feel that we, st even though we kind of diff very different branch of music, we we have the same basic idea. I would say to be a little bit, you know, challenged to 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 stay a little bit outside this whole kind of generic um, mass music, so to speak. We we do our own things. We we kind of push ourselves, and we spend. At least I do. I, I you know, it's it's it's. Um, 
I always, since I started the band back in the days, I, I had this idea. I wanted to do something that is never done before. I mean, that that is a very important thing for me in, in music. I I wouldn't find it interesting. I I've never bothered playing other people's music. I've never, you know, um, uh, wanted to do something that somebody else have already done. I always kind of had this idea about doing something entirely new, something entirely fresh. Of course, we use electric guitars, we use a lot of things that everybody else do, but I think the mix, the the, the chemistry of the band is, is very different and unique than a lot of other bands, I, I would say. And I think actually the same goes for Leprous. I, I mean, they've done their own, completely own thing, and, and it's amazing, that's cool. That is something I cherish. I cherish people that dare to do something that it hasn't been done before. Whether it's walking to the South Pole or climbing a mountain or making music that nobody has heard before. That's amazing. I mean, that gives life the extra spice, so to speak. Makes it more interesting to, to live, quite simply. <laughs> And well, you you was telling me that you are uh, finishing the the record some new recordings. Yeah, we can actually just. Tell you did... about it. I can't tell you too much. It's too early. I'm, I'm I'm afraid. But but we finished the album like Friday a week ago actually now today. Um, hard deadline. The master is delivered. The cover is ready. Um, yeah, still a lot of work, but the basics are are in place. The album is is done. Um, what I can say about it, it's um, more of everything. It's I love it myself. I'm so happy, you know, freaking. I'm happy with the album. I still listen to it, even though I'm so tired of listening to these songs because I've heard a million of times. I've been making demos here in my studio, and you know, for hours and hours and days and days. But but I still I'm not really tired of the songs. I still listen to them on headphones and enjoy, you know. I think it turned out amazing. Um, it's kind of true north. Just we're moving forward. We are kind of. It's it. We kind of started where true north, in a sense, stopped, and just you know evolving and pushing borders and more of everything. It's sometimes harsher than we have done before. At other times, it's more slow and atmospheric than that we have done before. It's everything between this, you know the earth and the sky, I would say, uh, more than we have ever done before. Um, uh, I would also add, actually, that I, th I feel that the new album is more well produced in a sense. It's 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 more, in a way, more complete in, in, in some ways. Uh, it's it's uh, I'm very happy. And also Jens Bogren, who did the mixing of the album, um, has really seriously outdone himself this time around. I, I've never heard, heard a mu metal production that sounds so fresh, crisp, and powerful. I mean, it sounds com um, amazing, to be honest. And that's my humble opinion. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And well, True North was very well received. Um, oh, a, lo a lot of people and all the fans when you started the new compositions, you 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 thought about the, this record. You use it as a reference, or you try to start from start again. Uh, it's 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 no, it's not it's not doesn't work like for me like that really. I mean, it's for me, it's you know the commercial aspect of it doesn't really count. I I don't I, I try. To just forget everybody, everything about expectations, the record company, and what people expect. But what I try to do more in a, in a kind of a mental sense is I try to cling on to the basic ideas of the band, uh, to not lose, you know, the the the, the, the treasure that we had, the, the core of the band, so to speak. Um, so it's it's very important for me to keep the nerve, to keep the the vibe of the band, to keep the the reason why we are here, the identity of the band. But it also, and it's kind of a paradox sometimes, but it's also very important for me to to move forward, to push forward, to, to yeah, to say it in, in another way, to, to climb another mountain. I still love climbing mountains, but this time I want to climb another mountain. I want to see another horizon this time. And and I think that's basically what we have done with this one. I think, you know, people were here, the, the, the first 10 seconds they hear a new album, they will definitely hear that 
it's us. Uh, but I think they will 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 experience a uh, deeper, higher, lower everything about the album is just more I would say in, in a good way. Uh, it's it's just um, yeah it's it's a lot of work it's a lot of emotions it's a lot of everything into this album. I mean it's it's a really personal album and maybe one thing that I would like to say again very um, humble now. Uh, is that I think you will hear when you listen to the album that we enjoy making this music. It's a lot of, of course, recording an album, making an album, it's a lot of hard work and sometimes, some days I will like, fuck this, I'm done, I'm too old. But but still I think that, you know, when you hear this album, you will you will hear a band that love, play and make music. Uh, and I think that may be one of the really cool thing about the new album it sounds so fresh even we are old uh, grumpy guys now i'm pushing 50 soon and it's you know closing in on retirement and shit like that but i, I think that still even though we are growing old we are still have this almost childish uh, excitement of making music and and that has never stop to amaze me I, you know with, with a lot of things you do in life you do it for a certain time you do it for many years your work for example you get tired of it you get it's get routine it's get boring it's you want to you know all that stuff sometimes it like okay that was cool before but nowadays I don't like that anymore you know things like that but having this thing in my life that always hits me so hard uh, when, when it comes to this childish excitement of doing something new is is something that I treasure a lot and I try to cling on to in, in all this chaos of business and shows and people and interests and money and not money and Corona, not Corona, I mean all these things you have to navigate through as a band I always, you know cling on to this, this very almost childish basic idea about being creative and making music that I would lo love to hear myself. That is the essence of what I'm doing. That is my driving force. That is the reason why I, why we talk, basically. Yeah, that's great. I was about to ask you if you still enjoy the, the process, but you, you just answer me what is happening. Because yeah, a, lot of, uh, a, a lot of musicians sometimes think about retirement or making something uh, alone, a solo career, uh, not touring, I don't know. Yeah, 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 and, and, and you know, it's it's every 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 person, every musician on their own, I mean, they're oblig they can do whatever they want to do, but, but you, to me that has been, you know, I only do this as long as I find it fun and and, 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 and and gives me something and makes sense to me. I don't want to do this because of the whatever reasons. I It wouldn't be fair, it wouldn't be real, it would be forced, it wouldn't feel right and all that stuff. So it has to feel right and I'm, I'm yeah, I'm kind of, I get surprised each and every time. It's like this is the 12th album we are doing and I've done a lot of albums on this side of that as well. So I'm probably counting like 20 albums now. And it, I still find that that process of it, actually, to be honest, that's the right word. I love that process. Uh, I mean, when it comes to, I remember when the Lord of the Rings series came out back in the day, everybody was, you know, running to the cinemas to watch the movie. And I was like, yeah, cool, let's watch that movie and movies and stuff. But I actually, what I found more interesting is how they made the movies. You know, I, I love that stuff. I, I'm the guy, I'm the, I'm the nerd that sit afterwards and watch the documentaries about how they made Lord of the Rings. I find that a lot more interesting and fun. And actually fun. And, and that's maybe I'm weird, I don't know, but I love the process of things. To me, that is life. That is the core of life. Being creative, being a you know, friction things moving, things going, things is going up and down and sometimes you succeed, sometimes not. You know, that is to me the essence of life. When when things are done and finished and you have the answer of big questions and stuff, that is kind of boring. I'm, you know, then let's move on, you know. It's same with travels. I love to travel. I love, really love to travel. When I get there, it's fun to be there for a while, but then I want to travel again because I want to travel. I don't know. 
um, sometimes maybe I'm, I'm wondering if I'm a little bit weird and I have a, maybe some diagnosis, I don't know, but, but I just love process of things. I love doing something, being creative. Oh, that's great. Well, at last, just for finishing, I'd like to ask you is, uh, if uh, it's been complicated, um, uh, the change of members uh, in the band through the years. Yeah, sometimes, you know, life is complicated, whether it's a girlfriend or wife or, a, you know, kids and, and, and the same goes with a band. I mean, it's, it's a band is pretty much becomes like a second family as well. It's complicated. Life is complicated. It's a challenge. It's friction. It's a disagreement. It's we also this time we had a lot of disagreement. We, we had a lot of arguments back and forth about stuff. Uh, so it's not just about peace and love, I can assure you. But but um, you know I think I think um, that is how life is, um, and the same goes with new members, people that don't. You know, I kind of in the band, in the, in, 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 in when it comes to the band, I have one rule basically. It's, there is one basic rule: you have to be involved musically. You have to invest musically in the band. You have to put yourself on the table when it comes to being creative be interested in the music if not it's not working if you're in in for just being a touring musician or if if you just want to be a part of uh, yeah a rock star if you just want to be a part of it because of the money fuck you get out of here you know it's it, it's 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 that's not interesting to me so so it's it might sound complicated and it is sometimes because it involves people and people that you care about and you know all that stuff but but when it comes to a point where, where you know uh, things is not working because of the music or, or people not involved in music it's a simple question it's you know it doesn't work um, and so in that sense, I'm quite pragmatic. I don't want to be cynic about it, but I'm quite pragmatic. And and to me, there is one rule: you have to be involved, you have to be engaged, you have to put yourself on the table when it comes to the music. If not, there is no place for you. Thank you so much, Austin. It's been really a pleasure. Will you send us uh, for finish? Will you send us a greeting for our uh, website, Rock Legacy website? Hey, this is Östen from Botnagar. Um, you are watching Rock Legacy. We are, can't wait to get to Chile and do some shows for you guys. See you soon. Thank you so much. It's been really a pleasure. Hope you have a great time and see you here. Same to you, man. Thank you so much for the support and everything. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care too. Bye. Bye.